Organizations are adopting multi-cloud deployment architectures and want to see where MQ fits into this new world. How much would it cost you if your MQ system went down? How do you deploy across multiple cloud environments? Is MQ safe to deploy on a container platform? Let's imagine we have a mobile application that is responsible for making payments and we need to process that payment by checking the balance, check if there are any fraud indicators on the payment, check the payer or payee isn't a sanctioned individual, and to move messages in an assured, reliable way, we use IBM MQ. Messages move through the cluster, passing from one queue manager to the next, processed by each application. If the OpenShift cluster goes down, we can't send messages. So we deploy applications and queue managers to both clusters by having them run identically. What happens if a single microservice is down on one site? Messages sent to that site are kept on the queue and MQ until the client is ready again. When the application comes back, messages are processed again. To ensure continued message processing when an application is down, we can use an MQ cluster. That way, when an application or queue manager goes down, the MQ cluster will automatically reroute messages around the cluster. Even though new messages are rerouted, messages already on the queue manager normally consumed by the currently down client will need to wait for it to come back. An MQ cluster helps avoid waiting to process these messages using either a cluster queue monitor, which is a service on MQ that moves messages from the blocked queue to queue the same name on another queue manager in the cluster, or by using a uniform cluster, which redistributes clients, load balancing them, allowing clients connecting to the cluster to point at the queue manager with the messages. This allows us to handle failures, no matter where it happens. A recent cluster outage with a customer using this topology saw no payments or messages lost, and only a small number of payments delayed. We can even withstand a cluster outage, although messages on the queue manager on the failed cluster will need to wait for cluster or storage recovery. And all of this before we talk about cross-region replication, which can reduce the time messages are delayed too. When the cluster comes back, we're back to processing as normal. If you like this video, you can check out our other content on the IBM Developer YouTube channel.